Hello everyone. I'm making this video today because I just got finished listening to someone talking about everyone who gets married after divorce is committing adultery. I'm coming on here today to inform the young lady that that is not true. That you have a misunderstanding of what God wanted you to understand. So I'm going to break it down for you like this. When you get married, because I have been married. I've been married for 24 years. And when you get married, you enter into a covenant agreement with God. So it's not just you, but it's you, the man, and that covenant agreement. Now, when you understand that a covenant agreement is an agreement that God himself makes with you and your partner, where he literally walks around that union and he draws that union together. Okay, however, in this state that we live in, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual spirits in high places. So, there are karmics who are out here, who are married to divine individuals. Those marriages were never sanctioned by God. Those were carnal marriages because when a marriage is sanctioned by God, it is sealed by God. And that is the reason why the divorce rate is so high. When God puts you in a union with another divine individual, it is correct that you cannot divorce one another. However, if there is a divine union and a karmic union, you can because the book of Corinthians tells us that if there are two people who are married and one of those people commits adultery, the other individual has the right, has the right to divorce that individual or to remain married. That is a choice because if the person who has committed the adultery is divorced, and creates divorce for the other individual who has not created adultery. The person who has not created adultery is not under sin penalty for that adultery. That is a misinformation. That other person is free to remarry in the eyes of God. You have a misunderstanding of the scripture, my love. The person who has not committed adultery is free to remarry under the eyes of God. The adulterous partner who remarries is then committing adultery with every other person that they get with after that. Okay? Both parties are not guilty of the crime. God is a just and a fair God. And to condemn a person who has not committed a sin because of the sin of another, God does not operate that way. So, I am basically getting on here to inform you of misinformation, my love, and that you need to further study. You need to go into the book of Deuteronomy, where the book of Deuteronomy talks about adulterous people who are remarrying back into the same relationship. God forbids. He calls it an abomination when you remarry the same person twice. That is an abomination. But for one who has not committed any sin against God, to get permission from God to remarry is totally allowed. So, my love, I believe that you did get a spiritual message. However, study, show thyself approved, so that you may rightly divide the word of truth. Dig deeper into your subject matters before displaying. Because remember, there are two forces in this world, and misinformation is dangerous. So to condemn a whole bunch of people wrongly is a sin in and of itself. So, the ordinance of God is very clear. You may also want to study into the book of Enoch, the lost books, and several other writings of God, instead of misinterpreting. King James. Be blessed, my beloved. Bye-bye.